First of all, we looked at documents. Sorry, right, like, here's a document in Socrates, you're familiar with it. You can click on a document, you can hit the AI button, and it will instantly summarize that document for the most relevant points, right? So instantly. We're working with GPs and practices now to help us with those prompts, to make the layout better and the prompts better, whatever it is, but it means any document in your system, text document and soon PDF too, it'll just instantly summarize it. Okay, kind of nice to have, kind of useful. Second thing is if we can do it with documents, why couldn't we do it with a whole patient history? So you can click into a patient history, click AI summarize, and it will process every single note, except for private notes, marks the private, and it will summarize the entire history of that patient in, in that time, that's real time, in less than two seconds. Read, yeah, that's my graphic, putting AI to work. Um, but the idea here is that we want to try and, you know, I found myself testing this, there's patients I'm looking after for years, and you forget they had a hysterectomy done 30 years ago, or you forget that, you know, you forget the stuff that's in there, so the, the AI system will go through that and gives you a snapshot of that patient. What could you practically use it for? Well, loads of things. You could have, and in the example here, let's say you have a 55-year-old male patient with a restricted movement on the left hip, and let's say you just want to come up with a seven-day you know, exercise guideline for that patient, right? Um, you could type that in here. And let's say, like, you know, this is a help. It isn't something you just print off and give straight through, but I've asked it to do this here for a 55-year-old patient with a restricted left hip. Give me a seven-day exercise guide for that. You click Send, and what it'll do is, based on those criteria, it's just doing the seven day exercise guide for that patient, bearing in mind the limitation of movement in that left hip. So straight away, copy, paste this into a note, you can edit it, you can change it, you can put it into a document, you can email it to the patient, whatever you want to do. And then to finish, if that patient was French, you could say, great, convert that to French, right? And it'll convert it to French or Arabic or Swedish or whatever, and you're converting language without having to go externally to Google Translate and kind of sharing all this stuff. Like, these things are amazing. So it'll do it right there, instantly convert it to French. And in benchmarking tests between French, Swedish, English, whatever, it's pretty good. Like it is, it's not as good as having a like, full-time interpreter there beside you, but it is pretty good. So you can see it there, I won't waste your time, but that's basically converting it all to French afterwards. So you can see safe, secure, no data out, closed loop. This is a really, like we think this is the right way to go in terms of interacting with models that we can stand over and put a reputation on and then make sure that there's a governance board on top of that.